What's going on YouTube? Yankee Cowboy back for another video. Today I just want to do a quick update on the uh, Springfield XDE 45 ACP. I purchased this gun maybe about four months back. I did a video on it. It is a great gun. However, I did buy mine used from Cabela's and I took it to the range. I already had shot a buddy of mine so I knew the gun was, was good and I know Springfield's. So I've had a couple XDS's. I have some Springfield 1911's. At any rate, I purchased the XDE upon shooting my buddies and like I said, great gun, everything was fine. I purchased this one used from Cabela's as I just previously said, went to the range with it and this gun was hitting in the dirt like you wouldn't believe. I was aiming at 12 o'clock on the plates and it was going in the dirt. I was aiming above the target and it was still going in the dirt. So at that point, I grabbed a, a wooden target frame, brought it into seven yards and started to shoot the firearm at seven yards and the thing wasn't even on paper. Once I finally did get it on paper, I was holding at the top of the of the wooden frame and it was just completely out to lunch. It was, it was just off. I knew something was wrong. I'm a pretty proficient shooter. I live eight minutes from my gun club now, so I get up there quite a bit and I do shoot a lot. I just knew it was off. I knew something was wrong. Functionally, there was nothing wrong with the gun. I was figuring it was the sights. So first things first, the gun is clear. There's nothing in it. Um, so I, I got right in my truck. I got right on the phone and I called Springfield. Customer service was great. There was not a lot of hold time or lag time. It was pretty much boom, bang. I was into customer service. Explained the problem. They said, can you can you ship it into us? I says, yeah, not a problem. Uh, just for anybody else out there who has to ship a firearm back, I don't know how it is in your state, but here in my state, the guy says, you can ship it back yourself without an FFL but it comes FedEx and you have to have a signature when it gets delivered. And he says, FedEx doesn't wait around. It's, it's pretty much virtually impossible. He says, do you have a, uh, an FFL you can go to? Which I do, I went to my local FFL, which he was nice enough to take the firearm in for me and do the transfer and get it up to Springfield. They got it, they had it for about two weeks. The turnaround time wasn't too bad. <clears throat> I went back to my local gun shop, you know, asked him if he had heard from Springfield. He said, yep, it just came in. You know, he was getting ready to call me and uh, I grabbed it, I had paperwork with it, said that the rear sight was wrong on this firearm, which I had a feeling something was up with the sights. So the rear sight was wrong. They wrote down this, the description, it was a, it needed an H rear sight. I don't know if they use numbers or letters at Springfield, but it said H. It was incorrect. They shot it, they also provided me a paper target, which I don't have on me, it's in my truck actually, with a nice tight group on it, so they got it working correctly. So I just recently took this thing out to the range and tried it out myself. And I was shooting the plates, which the plates are much farther than seven yards. And I was able to hit the plates okay, brought it into seven yards, and everything seemed to be the way it should be, as I expected this to come factory. But again, this was purchase used, so I don't know if the previous owner took the rear side off because he wasn't a good shot, or he tried to make adjustments, and he totally screwed the, the firearm up further. But upon getting it back from Springfield, the XDE is in good working order. It is now hitting where it's supposed to be. So... This one's going to be going back in the carrier rotation because I feel comfortable with it now. I've already put about 200 rounds through it since I've gotten it back. Now the sight picture on this, for me, it, it's pretty good. I don't remember the other sights. I should, probably should have took a picture of it before I sent it in. I don't remember these sights being white in the back. I don't like white in the rear dot. I like to have, I like to have it blacked out in the back. So what I'm going to do is probably just either black these out with paint or I might change it and actually go a little lower because the gun is still shooting a little bit low, but again, I've only put 200 rounds through it since I got it back, so that just may be me getting used to it. But I may actually put a more low profile sight in the back on it. But the sight picture's okay, like I said, just the, the white dots kind of bother me. But food for thought, anybody who ever buys a used firearm, I see this a lot, people will buy a used firearm and it, it, it's just not accurate for them and they'll blame the gun, they'll blame the manufacturer, they'll, they'll blame all kinds of excuses but most firearm companies will take the gun back on warranty and, and they'll address the problem all you have to do is reach out to customer service on at pretty much any gun manufacturer I've done it with a multiple gun manufacturers and I've never had a problem they're always good customer service and you know they'll, they'll take care of it so like I said I mean I knew Springfield was good and I wasn't gonna dismiss the gun as being you know oh, it's junk it doesn't shoot right I knew it had to be a sight issue and I was right it was a sight issue on it and again, they addressed it, so that was good. So yeah, if you ever have any issues with your firearms, guys, take it from me. Just reach out and contact the manufacturer. 
nine times out of ten, they're going to take good care of you. They're going to ask to get the gun back. They'll go through it and, you know, and what have you. They picked up the shipping on this both ways, which was great. I gave them my FFL's email, and they contacted them and, and shipped it there and back. So, uh, you know, it's it's working great now, guys. I got no, no issues, no complaints. I do want to get some more trigger time on it with some better quality ammo because usually when I go out with any new firearm, I buy tall ammo because it's steel cased. It's pretty crappy, dirty. Then I'll switch to an aluminum ammo. Then I'll switch to factory brass. And then I'll switch to my reloads. And if it passes all those tests, the gun's good to go. It'll eat anything. Uh, I'm okay with carrying it. I feel comfortable. So that, that's my take on it. But I want to give you guys an update on the Springfield, let you guys know what's going on with it. And uh, it's back in service. Got it back. Everything's all good. And we'll be doing another follow up video on this for sure. Still carrying it in the Uncle Mike's appendix style. And uh, we'll do another range video on this one soon, guys. I do want to get some more rounds through it. All right, that's it, guys. Any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one.